In this class we are going to discuss 15th and 16th complements which are uh, very much useful in hexadecimal arithmetic subtraction. So now see here what is meant by 15th complement. 15th complement of any hexadecimal number can be found by subtracting each and every digit of the hexadecimal number from 15. So now see here how we are getting 15th complement of any hexadecimal number. I am taking a hexadecimal number AB1F. So this is my hexadecimal number. This is a 4 bit hexadecimal number. By seeing itself we can say this is 4 bit hexadecimal number. Now we need to find out the 15th complement. So to find out the 15th complement of this hexadecimal number we need to subtract each and every digit of this 4 bit hexadecimal number from 15. So here I am subtracting each and every digit from 15. So here F means 15 and subtracting F from 15 means I am getting 0 here. Now 15 minus 1, 15 minus 1 means 14, 14 is equivalent to E. So here you will get E. Now same like that if you are subtracting 15 minus B, you are subtracting B from 15, what you are going to get? B means 11, if you are subtracting 11 from 15, you are going to get 4. At the same time, you are subtracting A from 15, A means 10, if you are subtracting A from 15 means, so here you are going to get 5. So, the 15th complement of the given hexadecimal number AB1F is 5, 4, E0. This is 15th complement of this hexadecimal number. Now coming to 16th complement. So as we are uh, getting 2's complement by adding 1 to the 1's complement, in the same manner 16's complement can be found by adding 1 to the 15's complement of the hexadecimal number. So as we know that 15's complement is by uh, subtracting each and every digit from 15. So 16's complement we can easily get by adding 1 to 15's complement of that particular number. So I am just adding 1 here. So 0 plus 1, 1, E and 4 and 5. So this is 16's complement of hexadecimal number AB1F. Let, uh, let us take another example uh, like uh, here I wanted to take uh, some 1, 2, 5, 1. So this is also a hexadecimal number given. So this is a hexadecimal number given. I need to find out the 15th and 16th complement. To find out 15th complement what I am going to take is I am subtracting each and every digit from 15. So here if I am subtracting from 15 is 15 minus 1. So 15 minus 1 means so this is equivalent to 14 or E here. So next 15 minus 5. 15 minus 5 means this is equivalent to 10. 10 is equivalent to A here. And 15 minus 2. 15 minus 2 means 13. So 13 means a means 10, B means 11, C means 12, D means 13. So here you are going to get D. Next again here 15 minus 1 means, so 14, 14 means E. So this is the resultant hexadecimal number 15th complement. So that means uh, if you take in 1, 2, 5, 1 as your hexadecimal number, the 15th complement of this is EDA. For example, if you are going to find out 16th complement, just add 1 to this. So if you are adding 1 to this, so you are getting E plus 1. E plus 1 means again you are going to get some F here. So next here A, D, E. So E, D, A, F is the 16th complement of this given 1, 2, 5, 1 hexadecimal number. In the same way we can find uh, any number like uh, A, B, uh, 1, 0. For example, this is your number. A, B, 1, 0 is your hexadecimal number. Now you need to find out the 15th and 16th complement. What you have to do is 
to get 15th complement of this AB10 as it is a uh, hexadecimal number, you need to subtract each and every digit from 15. So, here I am subtracting each and every digit from 15. 15 minus 0 will result 15. That means F you are going to get. Now, here 15 minus 1. 15 minus 1 means it is equal to 14. 14 means so here this is equal to E. Next 15 minus B. 15 minus B means 15 minus 11. 11 means 4. So, here you are getting 4. Like that 15 minus A. A means 10. 15 minus 10 is equal to 5. This is the equivalent hexadecimal number 15th complement. So, here this is the 15th complement. If this is the 15th complement, to find out 16th complement, just we need to add additional 1 here. See here, if you are adding 1 here, what will happen? Here this is equivalent to F. F means 15. 15 plus 1, 16. You can't represent 16 in hexadecimal. So, 16 is equal to 16. 16 is not less than 16. So, that's why you need to take 16 minus 16 as this sum results. So, 16 minus 16 means 0. So, whatever you taken out that is taking as carry. 0 with carry 1. So, F plus 1 is nothing but 0 with carry 1. That carry will goes to as addition of next bit. For example, here you are having uh, another F. Again, it will give a carry. So, again you are having F here means again you are getting carry. So, like that you are getting carries. So, now here you are having E. E means 14. 14 plus 1, 15. It will provides you F. So, next 4, 5. So, 5, 4, F, uh, 0 is the 16th complement of AB10 whereas uh, 54 EF is the 15th complement of this AB10 hexa. In the same way we can find uh, any 15th and 16th complement for any hexadecimal number. Just by subtracting each and every digit from 15 you are going to get 15th complement. Adding 1 to the 15th complement uh, you are going to get 16th complement. These 15th and 16th complements are very important while doing hexadecimal subtraction.